Welcome back, okay, and welcome to part two of my pound pound ratings going from 1890 to 1899. On video one, we covered 1890 to 1894, so he will pick off 1895 to go to 1899. I've renamed the playlist. I'm also inserting these two videos right at the front, so if anybody does have the balls to watch it, they'll watch right from the 1890s right through to 2020. So, meanwhile, let us go on to our next year of pound pound rankings in 1890s, which is 1895. And in 10th place in 1895, okay, is Owen Ziegler. Um, Charles Kid McCoy, okay, um, who was an outstandingly good fighter. He comes pound pound rated uh, once again. He was rated in the last five years. Uh, he comes in at ninth. While Dan Creedon, okay, he comes in in eighth place. In seventh place, a name that will bear much fruit in the turn of the decade in the pound pound ratings, Joe Gans. The future lightweight king comes in seventh while bob fitzsimmons okay comes in sixth place in fifth place is james j corbett while in fourth place okay another top 10 rating for solly smith in third place okay the bantamweight champion tiger barry um finishes top three again while in the second place okay um the great george dixon again gets another high finish but the number one okay in 1895 is the great welterweight and middleweight champion tommy ryan um, one of the outstanding fighters of his time and a very underrated fighter historically he takes the pound pound number one spot in 1895. Now he has been rated okay in other years, but in the second half um, of the decade of the 1890s, he really comes into his own in the pound pound ratings. Um, of course, I have the job to do of adding all these ratings into my 1900 to 1923 pound pound ratings, and then changing the title of that file, adding them all in, making sure I don't make any mistakes. Um, but all that is kind of paperwork, okay? All that is stuff I love. At least the ratings will be finished, and then instead of like on many videos where I've said, well, I've done 130 year of pound pound ratings. When I've done 120. Uh, I actually now can say 130 year of pound pound ratings. Although, funnily enough, on videos now, I'll probably say I've done 120. <laughs> I'll probably reverse it. But Tommy Ryan, okay, Tommy Ryan, the near decade long welterweight and middleweight champion, tops the list in 1895. So we shall go on to 1896, okay? So where will Tommy Ryan and many of these names figure um, in the following year? Now, in the following year, as we can see, there's not really any change at the top. In 10th place in 1896 is... Peter Ma, okay, the great Irish puncher. Um, in ninth place, okay, Tiger Jimmy Barry drops from last year. He drops down to ninth place. While in eighth place, okay, newcomer in this uh, half decade, Tom Sharkey, uh, the big puncher, comes in eighth. In seventh place, okay, Bob Fitzsimmons gets his latest um, top ten finish. While in sixth place, former lightweight champion George Kid Levine gets his latest entry. In fifth place, okay, James J. Corby is rated again. Um, while in fourth place, the great John. George Dixon again finishes. And really, when you're looking through these ratings, you see certain fighters just excel in this decade um, from Corbett to Fitzsimmons to Ryan, um, you know, to um, George Dixon. You know, a whole number of fighters who are, re who are really um, more at the peak in this decade. Some of them cross over into the next decade, like Fitzsimmons when he wins light heavyweight title. But a lot of their greater work was done in the 1890s, which is why I had to increase my ratings to cover that last decade prior to 1900. So in third place, the ex Excellent Charles Kid McCoy um, again scores a finish. While in second place in 1896 is Charlie McKeever, a guy who was already in my database. Uh, I haven't done a video on him, but he's in my database. Um, while the number one in 1896, okay, for the second year on the trot, he was rated in the first half of the decade, um, but now in this uh, second half of the decade, he's got two number one slots on the trot. It is the great Tommy Ryan who finishes number one pound pound for two years in a row. Now, interestingly, in my full pound for pound rankings that I did from 1900 to 2020, I think there were only a few fighters who got pound for pound number one spot three times on the trot, um, I believe. Okay, I, I can't remember who it was. I think Muhammad Ali was one, um, and was Henry Armstrong another? I'm trying to remember. But will Tommy Ryan make it three from three to match that small exclusive club of three-time pound pound number ones in three years? Um, sadly, we see Tommy Ryan doesn't do it, okay? Um, in 10th place in 1897 is Tommy West, okay? In 9th place, Tiger Jimmy Barry gets his latest entry. While in 8th place, okay, Owen Ziegler um, scores another top 10 finish. Um, the flat pound pound number one for the last two years, 1895 and 1896, Tommy Ryan, he drops to 7th this year. While in 6th place, George Kid Levine maintains his kind of mid-top 10 um, area um, placing. In 5th place, okay, 
okay, is Solly Smith, okay, another fighter who will be added to my database soon enough, as will fourth placed Oscar Gardner. In third place, okay, George Dixon um, in the top three, while in second place, okay, another high finish um, for fantastic fighter Charles Kid McCoy, one of the few men um, to defeat Tommy Ryan um, in a professional fight. Now, in number one in 1897, okay, is the great Bob Fitzsimmons. Okay, Bob Fitzsimmons tops the list for 1897. And Bob Fitzsimmons also, uh, and a number of other fighters, break Tommy Ryan from having that three-year pound-pound number one finish on the trot. <laughs> So I really do feel a sense of um, accomplishment doing this because I, I said when I did it, you know what, I should have started, when I started on the 1900s, I always said to people on my live streams and videos, you know what, I should have just started at 1890 and I've mentioned it, yeah, I'll do it, yeah, I'll do it for the last year and a half or so, but I've finally done it, so I'm very happy. So there is 1897, we have two years to go and soon 13 boxing's question on Barbados Walcott in 1899 will be answered. I've already had a sneak peek so I know where he finishes that year and it is a high place. So, we're on 1897, okay, Fitzsimmons has topped this one, okay, so now what we need to do is go on to 1898, um, the first of the last two years prior to the other ratings kicking off in 1900, if people look at my pound pound playlist now, they'll see these videos being put right at the top in order, so it goes from 1890 right through to the modern time, so in 1898, okay, in 10th place, okay, is Solly Smith, um, in 9th place comes Joe Goddard, who's been rated a few years this decade, never got a pound pound number one finish but still being rated here or there while in eighth place okay George Kid Levine is rated again in seventh place future lightweight King Joe Gans okay and um, gets his latest finish while in sixth place okay Dave Sullivan makes an entry Dave Sullivan makes an entry um, getting sixth place in 1898 in fifth place okay Oscar Gardner um, scores another top 10 finish while a new name okay will pass over into the next century uh, former heavyweight champion James J. Jeffries gets his first entry in 1898 finishing fourth in third place okay the great george dixon one of the longest rated fighters of this decade um, with fitzsimmons amongst others gets another top three finish while mysterious billy smith makes a resurgence after not really being rated for the last few years um he comes back in at second but the number one okay making it three years out of four the great welterweight and middleweight champion tommy ryan again tops the list he's been pound pound number one for three of four years um in this second half of the 1890s decade so far fantastic um, results for Tommy Ryan of course I've already re-updated all those um, um, years listing okay in my database for all these fighters now what I've got to do is transplant all these ratings into my existing 1900 1923 ratings then go through every fighter's record and rebuild the pound pound records including all the new names Phew! <laughs> but I've done the pound pound rating points for them all and the pound pound top 10 top 3 and pound pound number 1 so you know I will just chill away on that a few days I've got like 30 videos ready so I don't really need to worry about getting videos ready so I can take on a number, number of days get that finished make sure it's done accurately and correct um, and then I'm going to start adding um, some more fighters from 1890s into my database I've got like 5 or 6 um, including Ziegler and Goddard um, etc who I want to add in here so let us go on to the final year. I've finally got it finished. Let's cover the final year in 1899, okay? In 10th place comes, okay, George Elbows McFadden. He manages to get an entry at the end of the decade. Also a new entry in 1899, okay, is former world champion Frankie Ernie, um, recent Hall of Famer over recent years too. Um, in 8th place, James J. Jeffries gets another top 10 finish, while a fighter who was rated earlier in the decade hasn't shown up uh, for a while. Joe Choyinsky gets his latest top 10 finish coming seventh mysterious billy smith okay gains another top 10 finish um at sixth place while at fifth place okay jack root also gets his first entry in fourth place okay consistent rate of george dixon in this decade um gains another top five finish while in third place last year's pound pound number one rated fighter and three time uh pound pound number one rated fighter from these five years tommy ryan still gets a top three finishes uh finish but obviously drops down to third in second place the Barbados Demon Joe Walcott um, scores his um, second finisher was rated in one of the earlier years um, he's now rated here and of course continues in my 1900 onward ratings um, being rated where he places so Barbados Walcott finishes second but the number one pound pound rated fighter in 1899 who also gets rated a number of years 
from 1900 on is um, terrible Terry McGovern, who just takes the top spot very narrowly. Barbados Walker almost took it, um, but still a high finish for him. Terry McGovern um, takes top spot, uh, top spot this year. So that is the end of my 1890 to 1899 pound pound ratings. I'll say again, I'm very happy I've got it finished. I've been aiming to do it for a long time. But now I have done something that I'm not aware anyone else has ever done. I've scoured the internet. You can't find it. I have done top 10 pound pound yearly ratings from 1890 to the current year. Gets updated every year and will continue to get updated. Um, but there are the two videos. Um, no videos for a few days uh, while I get these um, ratings and uh, information built up. I'm out for now.